everyone and welcome. My name is Noelle and in this video I would like to share my process for a small 2 by 5 inch painting. This painting is based on a picture I took a couple years ago of the Palouse here in Washington State. I take a lot of images when I travel and as I was traveling across eastern Washington to help my sister move, I was lucky enough to capture plenty of reference photos on this beautiful sunny day. I started this piece out with a wash for the sky. I applied clear water to my paper and painted around the areas I'd like the clouds to be with a nice blue. Then I painted on a mix of burnt sienna and yellow ochre on the land so everything would have a consistent yellowish hue, making it look like the sun is shining on it. The road is painted with a purpley blue gray color and I was careful to paint around the line on the road. At this time of day the sun is emitting a golden color so that would make the white line on the road appear yellow. If you watched my watercolor cloud study video you would know that I like to paint cloud details by adding and lifting paint little by little. I would apply paint to the paper, clean my brush, wipe excess water on a paper towel, and soften the edges of the shape to look puffy and cloud-like. I tinkered with the clouds a lot, but I'm happy with how they turned out. I like painting landscapes and nature in general because the exact shapes and proportions are not as sensitive as other subjects, like portraiture since illustrating the likeness of a cloud is simpler than illustrating the likeness of a familiar individual. It's more relaxing to me and I'd love to improve my portraiture art at some point as well because it is very beautiful. Here I am darkening the sky a little bit to distinguish the shape of the cloud more with a harsher line. Even though I paint a lot, I seem to forget how much watercolor paint dries lighter than I anticipate. The color in my palette is very bright and pigmented, however the dried color is going to be duller. A good way around this is to have a swatch sheet for your paint mixes easy access and I would probably do this if it was a larger piece. In this case I painted an extra layer of paint with a little more yellow ochre in it to be my base for the wheat fields. Once the paper was fully dry I wet an area with clear water and began to paint the shadow of one of the hills. I haven't practiced painting a shadow like this before, so this was an experiment for me. You will see as the video plays on that I fidget with this a few more times since I struggled to make it how I wanted it to look. I think it would be easier to paint on a larger surface and maybe a different technique, though this ended up looking fine for this little study. The buildings and the plants were fun to put together since they are the focal point of this piece. I think it's easy to get carried away and make the red look vibrant or the plants very green, but allowing the colors to be more subtle like the rest of the piece makes it look like they belong there and not photoshopped in. Until I added some of the details in, this painting was looking fairly bland. It's important to note that if your artwork isn't looking the way you want it to, just keep going and work in some of the details that can add more context to your piece and make it more interesting.
I hope you enjoyed watching this process and if you did, consider liking this video or subscribing. All of my materials are listed below and if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. You can find me on my social media, I am the most active on my Instagram. If you want to know what art supplies I use and or recommend, you can visit my Amazon storefront list link in the description. I'll receive a small commission from items purchased following the link. Thank you so much for watching and make it a great day.